Many activities have ages of initiation. One must wait until age 16 to drive, age 18 to marry without parental consent, and age 35 to become president. So why do we make young people wait until 21 to drink alcohol? Well, I'm sure all of us have thought about why exactly the minimum legal drinking age is 21. Perhaps we've even questioned if it's extreme, and it should be age 18. After all, if an 18-year-old is mature enough to vote, why can't they be mature enough to drink? Well, I know I personally have thought about this, so I've researched the reasons why the minimum legal drinking age is 21. In the next few minutes, I will inform you about those reasons that I found, which include the fact that drinking damages the minds of the young people who do it, both psychologically and physically. Also, drinking before age 21 has shown to have devastating, lasting effects. Regardless of what people might think, the minimum legal drinking age is based on scientific research. And that research has shown that young people react differently to alcohol than adults. Teens naturally overdo it, says Mothers Against Drunk Driving, a nonprofit organization dedicated to fighting against the criminal acts of underage drinking. So let's start by looking at the psychological damage done to underage drinkers. Casey was a beautiful 17-year-old girl. She had everything going for her. She was a 4.0 student on the varsity girls basketball team at her high school, and she had a lot of friends. However, Casey had an alcoholic father whose name was John. Now John would come home late at night drunk, and he would throw things across the house. He would barge into Casey's room while she's in bed and say hurtful, degrading things to her. So one day, Casey started to let her father's problems get to her. She didn't think that he cared about her or what she was doing with her life, so she started attending high school parties and drinking excessively. She drank so much, she became addicted to drinking. Depressed and filled with anxiety, Casey's grades dropped from A's to D's. She lost all of her friends. She ended up joining a gang, ran away from home, and did not graduate high school. Well, Casey happened to be my best friend when I was in high school. And I will never see her again because the alcohol that took over her father's mind took over her mind as well. According to a national campaign to prevent underage drinking called We Don't Serve Teens, sponsored by the Federal Trade Commission, alcohol use interacts with condi conditions like stress and depression and contributes to a um, an amount of 300 teen suicides a year. According to We Don't Serve Teens, high school students who drink are twice as likely to have seriously attempted committing suicide, and high school students who binge drink are four times as likely to have attempted suicide. So let's take a glimpse at the physical damage done to underage drinkers. In alcoholics, brain shrinkage has been observed in deep regions of the brain responsible for memory and in the cerebellum, which helps regulate balance and coordination. Neuroscientist Suzanne Tapper of the University of California states that the key areas of the brain are still under construction during the adolescent years, and they are more sensitive to the toxic effects of alcohol and drugs. Well, it's estimated that over 3 million teens between the ages of 14 and 17 in the U.S. today are alcoholics. Thus, as alcoholics, these kids are victims of brain damage. The brain is not fully developed until age 21 or 22. So alcohol will hurt the way these underage drinkers' brains function academically, psychologically, and it will physically damage their brains. Drinking under the age of 21 has been shown to have devastating, lasting effects. According to Procom.org, a nonprofit organization that provides resources to educate without bias, the earlier a person begins alcohol use, the more likely they are to become an alcoholic in the future. Suffering from negative physical withdrawal symptoms and harming his or her own brain during its development. 
According to a study done by the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, persons reporting first use alcohol before the age of 15 are five times as likely to have reported um, past year alcohol dependence or abuse than persons who first use alcohol at age 21 or older. So today I've informed you about the reasons why the minimum legal drinking age is 21. I told you that alcohol seriously damages the minds of the adolescents, both psychologically and physically. And I told you that drinking before age 21 has shown to have devastating lasting effects. So when you question why the drinking age is 21, think about this. The legal drinking age protects young people's maturing and developing brains. And since teens who, are, who drink alcohol have a higher chance of academic failure, allowing teens to drink will negatively affect more students' academic performance, as well as their psychological well-being. Thus, the reasons for keeping those who are under 21 from drinking are not based upon whether or not they are mature enough to drink. It's based upon the healthy development of their brains and bodies. Thank you for listening to Ashley Weatherell in this informative speech, California Baptist University.